Today we'll roast two portfolios that I found on LinkedIn. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy the amount of uh, destruction that I'll be throwing towards these guys. But the reason why I'm gonna roast them to absolute infinity. One thing that I hate in this life is someone telling me that everything is fine when things are clearly not fine. It is my duty as a coach for aspiring developers to tell you when you're wrong. It's my duty to call you on your bullshit because I want you to succeed. I have made a post on LinkedIn and I'm gonna share my screen and you can see it. And a couple of aspiring developers were quite upset with what I mentioned, right? And I have a habit that I have been developing for a few months now. Whenever someone says that the job market is hard or whatever, whenever I see a junior developer that is complaining, I go and check their portfolio, okay? Because I wanna know, you know, what they can do. And based on that, I can understand if the job market is tough or if they are bad. Now, the reason why I am so direct with you is because I am built like that. I'm Eastern European, right? In my culture, we tell things how they are. We don't have time to sugarcoat. We don't like sugarcoating things. And I remember when I moved to London, it was very strange for me to be asked how I'm doing by every single person that I'm meeting, it, you know, like, and then I realized it, this is just some, some way that you guys in America and in the UK, in the civilized world are behaving, you know, it's just a facade. The problem is that this facade is hurting you. You are not getting paid because of the facade. Average junior developer on LinkedIn, just finished X bootcamp, general assembly, let's say. 500 job applications in, they start saying, every no gets me closer to a, a yes, right? That's, that's what you hear typically. Then you have, this recruiter should give me a chance. We will start from somewhere, right? Replace uh, recruiter with hiring manager, whatever. Then we have, why nobody wants to hire me? That's a depression phase. Then they start making websites for their local church, right? That's bargaining. And then they start posting things like, oh, I, I started picking up the guitar again, or I'm playing this game. Bro, nobody cares. You're on LinkedIn. It's the most cringe platform ever. Everyone is here to make money. And if you're posting that, that means you mentally checked out, right? And I don't want you to be there, right? I don't want you to be on LinkedIn. Okay. You already kind of glimpsed what I'm about to show you. This looks absolutely horrible. Like this is a 2007 website. I, where should I even start it? I wouldn't pay this guy $10 to make me a website, right? That's absolutely clear, right? This should be all the way here, I guess. But it's, it's this is so bad, I don't even know where to start. I would delete it and start fresh, right? But let's go to project because that's where we can see his skills and we can see how brutal the job market is. I'm pretty sure he's like the most amazing developer. It's just nobody wants to give him a chance. Oh, what the f is this? To do app in 2024? What the hell? <laughs> Should I go and watch a video about how you use a to do app? These icons, like, come on, dude, like, make them squared, you know? Like, there are so many bad things that. Whenever you should, you have to critique some, someone said, hey, when you critique someone, give them some, um, some, um, some tips. What tips should I give here? Like, this is so bad from every single point of view. Like, you either quit coding or you start again fresh, right? There's nothing to fix here, okay? Uh, this is a disaster. Uh, it's, it's horrible from start to finish, you know? Like, what's this? This is another to-do app. And... This app, you can make it with one chat GPT prompt. There is no value in this. You don't even need chat GPT. You can just go and copy it from, you know, a tutorial. This, there's no value. There's no value in this. Look at this. These are not even deployed. Like you are so lazy, you can't even deploy your website. What the hell? And this is coming from someone that's been coding since 2018. Might be wrong, but yeah, 2018. You count. Ah, you've been coding since 2018? You must be really good. You must be really good. No, he is not. Don't get me wrong, if you join my program, you'll make an app like this. This is made by one of my students, okay? But she's a beginner. She's not gonna use this in her portfolio. And you can see the difference in the, just how it looks, you know? It's just disappointing, man. And what I dislike is the fact that they People try to challenge me on this, like, I have something to lose. I've got nothing to lose when it comes to this. I'm not the one applying. You are wasting your time, not you, but these people. They're wasting six years of their lives. <laughs> Absolutely insane. 
This guy started coding one year before I started coaching, if that makes sense. I think I got my job in 2017. That's when he started, uh, like he started one year after I got my first job and he's still doing this. Portfolio. Okay, what should I do here? I wanna see an app that runs. Spiff Tracker. This is like 20 minutes worth of work. I don't know. This, this is it. This is it. He's quite active for four years. Quite active, I must say. But as you can see, you can work really hard and you can still get nowhere. This is what people don't understand. It's not only about working hard. You also have to work smart. You have to work on the right things. You have to do it in a timely manner. There are multiple things that you have to do at the same time, not just work hard. Because if you just work hard, you'll end up like these dudes that will go nowhere and then they'll blame everyone else, the job market, this, 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 this. But in fact, they have been the problem all along. I have learned this the hard way, this lesson, that whenever you don't like something about your life, it's nobody's fault but yours. Responsibility to understand this, to really get it, that every single thing that you have, the way your body looks like, the way your hair looks like, the money you have in your pocket, the lifestyle that you have, the trips that you have, the car that you have, the house that you live in. All that is because of something that you did or didn't do. It's nobody else's fault. It's not the government. It's not the layoffs. It's not the AI. There are people who started learning to code six months ago and they're making a killing using AI, using other tools because they are taking action and they are wondering how can I get better? Just good enough? It's not good enough anymore. You have to be better. And in this day and age, every single person has access to the resources to make it happen. Stop being like these losers online. They are losers. They don't wanna change. They wanna blame everyone but themselves. I used to be a loser, okay? I'll be honest with you. I was like, why is nobody clicking on my videos? Because the videos weren't good. Someone, people like other types of videos. It's my fault. Just take responsibility. When you start to take responsibility, you will start to see some growth in your life. If you cannot accept that you suck ass, you'll never improve. And if you never improve, you will stay where you are forever. Um, I don't want to make this a motivational speech, but I just want to remind you. Anyway, that's pretty much the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe because every Monday I'm gonna try to put out a roast. If you want me to help you learn to go faster. Oh yeah, he's selling a course, that's why he made the video. Yeah, uh, that's how I'm promoting my stuff. It's called marketing. If you want me to help you, that's the first link in the description. Go read that page. If you want me to help you, you'll figure it out, okay? Peace out.